What's good, peoples? Welcome back, y'all. It's your boy Taste PC Gaming, man. We back with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a how-to video. It's gonna be first how-to video for y'all, man. I'll just be sitting back thinking, downloading all these cards and stuff, adding them, installing them. I ain't even showed y'all how to do it yet. In this video, I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. Y'all gotta make sure y'all got a couple of things first before you add on vehicles inside the modded GTA, whatever type version you get. Before y'all start anything, y'all gotta make sure y'all have open IV. Before y'all start anything, I gotta make sure y'all got the modded game for one, at least a, a clean version of GTA, if not. And y'all also need simple trainer installed if y'all haven't got that installed yet. But if y'all got those things installed, then we ready to rock and roll. Vehicle we are gonna be installing. Let me see if I can get back over here. We're gonna be installing this Dodge Charger Scat Pack. It's supposed to be a drag edition. So, uh, this thing's nice. Yeah, this thing hard, I ain't gonna lie. I like how I got the lights on and this stuff, man. And it got the actual Scat Pack symbol. Tour is nice. Change that color, most def. Change the whole everything, man. You know, engine bay looking good. It's a nice mod. Let's go ahead and see if it works though. So y'all gonna click download. When we get the vehicle y'all choice, just make sure whatever vehicle y'all download on GTA 5 mods it says add on. Cause most likely it's compatible with the single player mode. Even though he got 5M on this. It's compatible with 5M also. But let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Once you download your vehicle, you gonna open your download. Make sure you got your zip, open wire, wind wire is what I got. Open wire. <laughs> but once you open your file, you should see the files they have inside the folder. So right here it says single player add-on, which sometimes 99% of the times, nobody's not going to have it in single player add-on. It's going to actually have the vehicle's name, but it's also going to let you know it's single player. This guy, I guess he just said forget it. So we're going to have to put Dodge Charger Skate Pack or Skate Pack in there. It'd be alright. So here's the actual file. It's a DLC RPF file. We are going to open IV. Once you got open IV open, make sure you got your open IV in edit mode. Make sure you go to update. After you go to mods, go to X64. After update, go to DLC packs. And this is where you're going to need to be. Once you drag this photo right here, which is the add on photo of the vehicle, you're going to drag this over here. But before we drag that over there, we are going to change change his name to Skatepack. So I hit enter, change that name. We're going to drag it on over, drop it in. Make sure it's in her. If I heard, as y'all can see, it says Skate Pack, so it means it's in her. And y'all can also make sure you're in the right spot from the top bar right here. As y'all can see, it says Mods Update X64 <coughs> X64 DLC Packs. If you right heard you in the money, you're in the right spot. Alright, so we got the vehicle installed, but we're not done yet. We're gonna have to go back. Let's see, let's go back to update. Alright, so it's gonna be Mize update and then update RPF. Then we're gonna go to common and then go to data. Once you go there, you're gonna go down and look for DLC list, which is right here. The DLC list dot XML. We're gonna hit the we're gonna right click. Go to edit. Then it's gonna open up this little add on files. A whole lot of stuff you'll see in here. But this is where you need to be at to actually put your vehicle as a DLC pack inside the game. To do so, we are going, you see how all this is 
looking the same item DLC packs whoop de whoop item we're just gonna go ahead and copy this oh man we're gonna go ahead and copy this and then we're gonna go below <laughs> make sure y'all hit enter I already had hit enter but yeah make sure y'all hit enter because it needs to be like a space right here between the paths and y'all get the idea but once we do that we're gonna paste and we are gonna delete this or well, we just copy the only the that part hold on why does it keep doing it man oh man and yeah, we're gonna delete only this part though these middle words so we're gonna delete that Then right here where we made our photo say sketch pack, we are gonna actually copy this because that's the name of the file, aka DLC pack. We're gonna go ahead and hit paste. And our Vigil should be in the game after we click save right here. So we're gonna go ahead and go in the game and see if it worked. If it didn't work, then it's it's something wrong with the with the creator's file because I don't had problems like it before. But that's the actual way that y'all supposed to do it to install your DLC pack vehicle. But make sure y'all got Simple Trainer, Open IV. But let's go ahead and go inside the game. All right, people, so once you're inside the game, you are gonna open up the Simple Trainer. Let's so go ahead and F3. Go to vehicle spawning. Let's go ahead and add vehicles. Add a vehicles. Let's see if we got our vehicle in here. That's the wrong vehicle. No time to explain, dog. Go get some shots. Check out that dumbass car. Nice. Most definitely gonna add it to the collection. We're gonna customize it ourselves. It's gonna be in one of our next videos. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, if it was helpful for y'all, make sure you give your boy a big thumbs up, man. I appreciate it. So it can get leaked out to everybody else, man, who needs some help downloading these vehicles. But man, this vehicle's nice, man. Scat pack action.